guys hello hello how's everybody doing I am just sitting in my living room I just came home from dropping my son off I have a Dollar Tree haul for you and to explain the sequence of what is happening I last week had recorded um, I believe one or two Dollar Tree hauls that I have never gotten a chance to upload um, so you will be seeing those last week Dollar Tree hauls this week, um, po possibly on Wednesday. So this is the current one. This is from this past weekend into today. And I just wanted to sit here with you guys and go through the stuff that I found, tell you the purposes that I'm going to use them for. And I hope that it inspires some of you to go out and take a peek at what they have. I also have you know, just so many projects going on. Uh, I've been tie-dyeing for days and it is going really well. The, the stuff that I have outside drying right now is probably my favorite batch of all and I've been having a good time with it. So I found some stuff to um, amp up my tie-dye selling and you know, and just some food items, storage items, and some cool stuff that I can't believe I actually found. So, if you guys want to hang out with me, let's do it. I'm probably just going to stop promising you that this is going to be about a half an hour. I, you know, I'd love it if you'd hang out with me till the end. If you can't make it to the end, pause me, put me on later, and finish it off. I have some cool stuff. You never know how long this is going to take. I am going to take a drink before I even start, and then we'll get going. I don't know if anybody can see my earrings, but I found these at a thrift store over the weekend when Richie and I went out. And these are about the coolest earrings I have ever, ever, ever seen on other than... Of course the ones that I've been getting from Shein I don't know if any of you have checked out that website yet but that is a fantastic website I'm obsessed with it it really is like the material of the clothing is phenomenal I've just been having such a good time the earrings are super cute and interesting and unique and um, I've been enjoying it so here we go. So I can't believe it. I've been looking for tie-dye for about three weeks now. About a month ago, it was not difficult to find whatsoever. So I hadn't had a problem in quite some time. Well, most recently, I have been having the worst time finding it. It's on back order everywhere. We have traveled a considerable distance to try to scout out places that may be carrying it that show online by the time we get there and phone call and say do you have tie-dye in stock they they either don't pick up the phone we go there in person somebody has told us that they do have it then we arrive there they don't have it in stock anymore um, it's been quite an adventure looking for tie-dye but Richie was absolutely adamant about it yesterday when we went out on our date day and he took me all the way out to Danvers Mass and um, which is I say all the way out like it's like a million miles away but it's really not it's about a half an hour from me and uh, just randomly to a Dollar Tree that we don't tend to go to ever and here we are I found tie-dye from um, excuse me from the crafters square section and this one is fuchsia pink I'm sorry why do I always get the hiccups when I'm talking to you guys I found the fuchsia pink and this is an uh, eight piece kit it comes with the fuchsia pink tie dye rubber bands uh, I think about four rubber bands and a pair of gloves um, thank you crafters square for real, like you are the best. This one is red, same setup. I can't even believe it. I cannot believe that I found these. Um, it is literally out everywhere. You can't find it any place. I found the yellow. I found a green. I found a purple. And I think 
that is it. Oh, and I got one more yellow just because I like, um, I like the yellow in most of my tie-dye just for that splash of like sunshine and brightness. And I am so happy you have no idea. When I found these, I was literally jumping for joy. I was so, so excited. Richie was even doing a jig. And my, don't mind my attire. Um, I've been out tie-dyeing since about 5.30 this morning. And that's, you know, been every part of the waking moments of my days. So there we go with that. And I think I just tipped my camera over. Tip, tip. I'm, I got to fix you. There we are. We're back in action. Um, so I'm in my scrubby clothes. I, I got this tank top in York Beach, Maine when I think I was about 13 years old. And it's all faded and used up, but I still wear it because I still love it the most. And my tie-dye skirt on from back in the 90s, and I've been outside rocking and rolling for days. So there's tie-dye stuff, which I'm amazed with, and I am so thrilled that I found that. Before I get into anything else, I'll just show you the food quick. It's the norm, guys. I had to pick my wraps back up. The 12 flour tortillas that we have usually have wraps with, um, with the tuna packets. We make individual pizzas on it and stuff like that, and we use that all the time. Richie found the cream cheese and chives Lance crackers. There's six in a pack, and those are his favorite, and we don't find those all the time, so he grabbed that because he found one yesterday. And then... We found this. This these are the Reese's Puffs. They're limited edition and they're peanut butter bunnies. Um, the expiration date is 2021. So I found a different kind from General Mills, and it's a full size box for a dollar. You know I love that. You know I do. And then of course, here we go. I already got some of these last week. Um, I got five boxes last week, but I picked up one more because the consensus in the house is always for desserts or anything like that or midnight cereal breaks. Whenever anybody just wants a quick snack or a bite, we grab some cereal and everybody loves the Lucky Charms just for a quick treat. So I picked up an extra box because I know that those will go out pretty quickly. Um, as they always do. And then we've never seen these before. These are Munch Rites. They're apple cinnamon flavored baked puffs. Never tried them before, but they are a three ounce bag. So it's a decent size and just something to nibble on, something, you know, different. And Izzy can try it and see if he likes it. Uh, Izzy, I don't know if I've ever called him Izzy to you guys, but uh, my son, Isaiah, we call him Izzy for short. That's been his nickname since he was a little peanut. Since he was just a little baby. And, of course, um, I'm telling you guys, this late July brand is out everywhere. These are definitely my favorite. The Korean barbecue is so good. I told you guys um, this in a couple of previous videos that these go for 3 to $4 at um, Whole food stores and things like that because they're organic. The Korean barbecue, definitely my favorite. Um, the bacon habanero is right up there. It's really good, but it's got way more of like a kick to it. I don't do spice well. Um, but every time I see these, I pick them up. They're really the only snacks that we've been getting these days. And last week I hauled the buffalo ones that I had never seen before. And the guys like the buffalo ones the best. My favorite is Korean. The spice to it is just enough and it's enjoyable. So, so that's it. And then I had to pick up a salt and pepper shaker with salt and pepper in it. Um, this is from Every Day. It's just the um, iodized salt and pepper set from the Dollar Tree. I needed a new one because I used the salt to mix up my tie-dye mixture. Um, and then I, I splashed some stuff on it. I didn't want to mess with it. So, so that's that. 
And then I got Candy Pants, my little girl. I got her some Gravy Train Wavy Bacon. And she loves these for a treat. But then I got her a little treat box because these packages she tries to tear open. She's this little runt of a little thing, but she does jump and get onto things and maneuvers her way up onto surfaces. I don't know how she does it. She's like a little billy goat. And um, so I got to take them out of these packages because she will rip this to shreds. And she's gotten into another package before that wasn't completely ziplocked and sealed back up. So I got her this little container here. I don't know if you can see it. And I don't know if you're seeing it backwards because I've never used this camera before either. So it says life is better with a furry companion. And it just has like a little lid to twist on and twist off. And then I'm going to put her wavy bacon in here and seal it so that it won't, um, it won't be easy for her to open and try to get into. Now, this I got. This, oh, I did it again. You guys tipped over. I hope you guys enjoy how crazy things usually are with me on here. It's just kind of fly by the seat of your pants. See what happens next. <laughs> like you just don't know what you're gonna get when you're watching me. I don't nothing is ever gonna just be like easy going and fine. I'm gonna flub up, I'm gonna make mistakes, my camera's gonna tip over, my dog's gonna bark, everybody's gonna go berserk and need me at the same time. I I, I just I can't you're getting the raw and real deal over here, guys. For real. You are sure getting the true happenings of my life. Um, so anyways, this is just a bath mat, but I got this for my pool. <laughs> my kitty pool out back. And it has just like a little a little um suctiony things to the bottom. I'm gonna put this in the bottom of my pool because over the weekend when I was going to get in my kitty pool it had a slippery uh, slope to it, and I hurt myself <laughs> in my kiddie pool in the backyard on the day that I was tie-dyeing all day with my son, the same day that my phone broke and all that stuff. So I just got this to put in the bottom of the pool so that I will have somewhat of a sturdy stance while I'm in there cleaning it out or wiping it down or skimming the pool it's just um it's like the rectangular one with the blow up sides it fills up quite a bit we i enjoy it i've been in that thing all summer and i put it on a different angle of my yard and it sloped down just a little bit and my foot hit um it just right and i almost went head over heels and took a real like dive so i'm gonna try this and keep my feet sturdy on this while I'm in the pool so that that doesn't happen again so just in case you guys have a pool you're worried about the slip factor and whatever you know they get slick with the water in it and especially if you know um, you've got like a hilly yard or whatever get a mat get a mat and hopefully you'll get some good grip to it so I picked these up. I love these. There's 55 count in here. This is the Breezy brand. And this one is Sun Sky Fresh. And I usually put probably about seven or eight dryer sheets in with each dry. And I usually do about three dries. So this one box will last me two weeks for a dollar. And my clothes smell good. I'm telling you, I buy almost all my stuff except for my detergent at the Dollar Tree. And I, in the past, I have bought my detergent too. I just um, haven't for a while. I usually just get like something at the grocery store while I'm there. Um, but that works fine for me. And then I got this scrub brush here. And this one is from Scrub Buddies. And I actually got it because it has like a really good handle to it. And then the bristles are kind of soft, but still a little bit firm. And then while my son's outside, washing his car and he can do his tires and really get in there and get some good grime off with it i have bought him everything you could think of under the sun to detail his car on his own and it's working out perfectly it is you know saving plenty of money from going to the 
um, car wash that really didn't do anything to it for nine dollars so he's been out there washing his car once if not twice a week for the last two weeks with all the dollar store stuff and he loves it and his car looks fantastic afterwards and they have that armor all brand there which is a name brand that you could find any place um and regular size bottles so he's enjoying that i thought i'd get him that brush to um let him try his tires and see if it can get off more of that so this is a facial cleaning brush and it's from sassy and chic it's battery operated it needs two double a batteries and i got this for my son also um to try we've never tried it before again excuse my tie-dye hands um and I, I thought it was neat you know he likes you know he's really good about like coming home and doing face masks and doing facial cleansers and and keeping his skin nice he works really hard he's 16 and a half years old he works pretty pretty close to full time at this point and um when he comes home he's had long days that have been you know hard on him and he's hot it's been extremely hot we've been up in the mid to high 90s for it feels like forever now we've had a really good summer so far up north and um so when he comes home he likes to get all the grit and the grime out of his face and get really cleaned up and washed up good and so i thought i would give him this to try and see if it helps um you know cleanse his face and work in the stuff that he is putting on his face for that evening which he's used a ton of my face masks recently and he loves the freeman products and that video is still coming to you guys i still have to do a couple more nights of try-ons of the freeman products and then i'm going to put all the videos together and upload it for a review of all the stuff that i've found at the dollar tree from the freeman brand and then this I found, this is Hard Candy, which is a name brand that is at all the stores. And um, it's normally a decently priced brand. Uh, and I don't see this often. I see other people find a lot of Hard Candy stuff, but I generally don't. So I was excited to find this. This is um, a blush. And I believe I lost the packaging somewhere but it's called uh baby doll and the blush is really really pretty it's like a peachy pink and it's got like a shimmer shine to it i don't know if you can see it really good but it, it's pretty and i can't wait to use it and my nails looked really good right next to it and i know i know i have used bleached on my hands i've tried to scrub under my nails uh, it's going to take weeks. I did have gloves on tie-dyeing, but to no avail because it literally just got everywhere um, underneath the gloves and the holes ripped in it. So now I look like all the men in my family that work hard and do, um, you know, all of their hard-working jack-of-all-trade jobs. Their hands always look like this. And hey, guys, now... I'm one of you. <laughs> so this right here, I think their eyeglass holders are unbelievable for a dollar. They're such a great thick vinyl. Um, it's such a great texture. The prints on them are the cutest things I've ever seen. It's got that awesome snap to it so that your glasses don't slip out. Uh, yeah, it just says eyeglass pouch. It's they are adorable this is my sixth one i have a lot of glasses guys so i have because i would like them all to fit into um a glass case an eyeglass case to keep them all compact and together so that they don't get scratched and stuff so i try to pick up one or two a week and the prints on them are fantastic so uh, I don't know which one to go into next. We'll go into this really fast. These I had found for my wedding originally. 
I used them already and I've already peeled them off because the wedding is over. So I found another one and this one I'm just going to put up in the house. I haven't seen them since I got it. It's two sided. So there's this option on this side and that on this side. I love these. I have decorated in each and every room with inspirational sayings and motivational things and just uh, words that encourage me to wake up every day, be the best person I can be, be happy and thankful and blessed. And I just love that like affirmation stuff to wake up to every day. And I've pretty much dedicated every room to sayings like, you know, they're all around me, be the change in the world that you'd like to see. Love grows here, live every moment, laugh every day love beyond words i have you know all of these sayings all around me and that's what my heart says anyways but to read them and look at them every day it just helps me continue on um doing the things that i love and living my days as peaceful as happy as kind and you know and just try to be the best person i can be every single day so that's what my kind that's what my home is to me that this is my haven my peaceful place the place that I am becoming more and more comfortable being at and I really enjoy just being home now where I've always been such an outgoing person and active and constantly going out and stuff I tend to be home a lot more to myself quiet peaceful I'm just at a different stage in my life and I'm enjoying it I I'm okay with having me time my son is growing up. It's almost at the point where you're getting kind of like that empty nest syndrome. And all I want is for him to be happy and move forward in his life doing the things that he aspires to do. And I am, Stella's trying to get her groove back. <laughs> so I am just taking it down a not, notch and, and just trying to relax and move into the next phase of my life as quietly and peacefully as I possibly can. And, um, there's a lot of things about me that you'll find, you'll start knowing more and more as you watch my videos and stuff. And, uh, a lot of the things that I buy will open up more truths to who I am. So that's what my house is dedicated to. That's who I want to be as a person, is a peaceful, quiet, happy, humble, um, person that just affects people in a happy way and I hope I do that for all of you so again my sunflowers I found them and I'm excited I just don't know where I'm going to put them up in the house and then to go along with that theme I found this and this is one I have never seen before positive mind vibes in life that is it that's it that's all I want around me for so so long I had a lot of negativity in my life, believe it or not. I had a lot of things going on that were really detrimental to me and my well-being and my overall health and my happiness and everything like that. And that was a long time ago. And, you know, every year of my life is working toward being a, a different person that has grown from those experiences that were difficult for me and difficult for the people that I loved around me and um, we're, we're, we're a work in progress every day so that's what I'm going to continue to be my whole entire life is a work in progress you never you never stop growing you never stop learning you never stop evolving into a new and better you as long as you put the effort in toward it you will always get to that next step and hopefully you always do it in a positive way because you know to be around people that are negative or hurtful to who you are to the core of your soul is just it's damaging and so I have worked really hard you know the last 10 years to work out things in my life that were really difficult for me and painful for me and people that I continue to be around that affected me in a very unsettling way and, and caused me a lot of anxiety and stress and panic and things like that. And I have learned to love people from a distance 
um, and never lose love for them, but have to love them from a safe distance so that it doesn't permeate me as a person. And, um, I, I, you know, you just, you do the best you can every day to keep working toward living your best life. We have to live our best life. We don't know, you know, at the end of this, a hundred percent, are we coming back? Do we get to chance this again and do it over and do it better? I don't, I, none of us know that. So I want to make sure that this life that I'm living now as me and my skin and my body and my soul and my heart lives my life the way that I envisioned it and the way that I want to see things out. And, you know, there's a lot of bumps in the road, but I'm still trying to be on that course toward happiness, healthiness, mind, body, and soul. So everybody stay positive, stay positive, stay positive as much as you can. And when you can't stay positive, try to find something to work it out in a way that is going to help you grow from it instead of damage you and, and cause you to take steps backwards. That's the advice that I'm giving today. And now I'll shut up. So anyways, I, um, so when I went into my cabin yesterday during yesterday's video and I showed you my candle closet, I panicked a little bit cause I hadn't been in there for just a, you know, probably a couple of weeks cause I have some candles out that I'm already burning. I haven't opened it up. So yesterday when I posted that video and I saw what was happening in that closet, I, was like, oh my God, that's like out of control. And I don't even know what I have anymore. I have no idea. So I am going to organize that cabinet as well. I picked these. There's two um, for a dollar. And I love, you know, that, that pattern on it. Uh, I'm going to, I can't make this up. This is about six hours past the last uh, segment that was just watched. Um, it is nighttime now and the phone stopped working. It took up all of my memory space. This is a very small phone that I'm using for the time being while I try to figure out what's happening with my phone. Um, and before this shuts off again and deletes everything that I've done or tried to do all day, I am going to show you the rest of this haul. So, here we go. As I was telling you prior, I got these bins. I am going to organize my candles because of the train wreck of the closet that I noticed um, when I opened it up for yesterday's video. So, there's two for a dollar here. So, I got that color because that's one of my favorite colors. And I got this color right here and I am going to sort all of my candles into these baskets and then line them up nicely and then I can see as they start to dwindle down then I'll know when I can replace them and start purchasing more candles instead of just continuously bringing them in and not really making myself aware that I have so many already although I won't pass up a good candle so let's just not Let's just not sugarcoat it. You know I'm not going to pass it up if it's a really cute one. But my bigger candles, and I usually get the Walmart candles or the Bath and Body Work candles. I don't know if anybody's ever tried um, just the regular mainstay Walmart candles that they have there. But they throw really good. And my house smells amazing when they are on. Um, they're fantastic. I love them so much and I love all of the summer scents. Right now I am burning the pineapple fluff and I usually just get the smaller jar for $3.33. It takes um, for a couple of days of burning, you know, it maybe three, four days of continuous burning and it smells just magnificent. And I love the watermelon one too and if you guys watch past videos you know that the watermelon one is also my favorite so i got these larger bins also for the same cabinet and i'm going to put my bigger 
candles in it, the ones that I don't find at the Dollar Tree, um, the ones that are like my Walmart candles, my Bath and Body Work candles. So I got these two bins that are the same, but with this color, I, I, lo I love these colors together. Um, these colors together are my favorite. They're just, they're so summery and beachy and pretty. So I'm going to organize my candles and get that all set up a lot nicer than what it is. And then in my food cabinet where I kind of showed you guys the other day in the other video that I was organizing things into these containers here. These are in the school department. This is like a really vibrant orange. Um, and I love this color. It's really, it's a really, really pretty vibrant uh, orange. And I got this. This is the book bin actually but i'm using it for food so i got one more so this will is my fourth one for that cabinet and i'm going to put all of my like beans and canned vegetables in here and then i can see as they start to go down in this container when i need to replace them i i need some helpful reminders i have lists on the fridge and stuff that i'm trying to pay more attention to so that you know it, there's always stuff running out here, so it's constant having to go to the store, replace stuff. And um, your girl is the only one that does that stuff in this house. So I need I need a little I need a little organization in my life for that. And here I found this bin right here, and I got this one for the fridge. It has these cute little lips on it that you can just pull out from the fridge. But I don't know if anybody else is in the same boat as me. When we get like cold meat for lunches, cheat different types of cheeses and stuff, and we put that stuff in the fridge, it kind of just gets tossed in there all over the place. You know, the meat's on the first shelf, the cheese is on the third shelf. You know, another t different type of meat is pushed in the back on the second shelf. It's kind of all over the place. And by the time we find it again, it, it's out of date. So every time now that we get cold meat and cheese um, to do like sandwiches for lunches and stuff like that, I am going to put them in here so that it's all in one place. Nobody has to think about where they're going to toss it, you know, on the door, on three different shelves, all mismatched and, and chaotic until it's just ready for the trash. So... That is going to be from my cold meat and cheese. Um, as you saw in that video, if you watched it from my organization for my fridge, in the two trays that are on the bottom, we keep um, some uh, vegetable type of items in one, and then he uses the other drawer for his diabetic supplies. So I just needed an, a little extra organization in there to kind of separate things and make sense of that. And then I found this, which I think this print is really cute. This is vinyl top liner, and it is a 12 inch by 30 inch. And I have never gotten one of these, but my best friend in the whole wide world, she suggested that I might try to line my fridge um, shelves with this so that... It stays clean and then when you're done with this you can just rip it off wipe it down whatever replace it it's a dollar for a whole roll roll that I already tore it so um, I was actually gonna break into it let's just I just want to pull it out a little bit I liked the pattern on it um oh I love it and I think that that's gonna look really cute in the refrigerator like to line the shelving and then to put my storage um, compartments on there with everything. I kid you not when I say here we are seven hours later. I have woken up and again last night it kicked me off from the other phone that was my backup phone. So the last you saw of me seven hours ago I was holding this vinyl topper um, to roll out in the refrigerator. This is what I showed you last. So on that note, I'm done now.
I think we've had enough of this video. It was a little Dollar Tree hauling, a little positive vibing, some sharing, some bloopers, some constant um, mishaps. And so that's the end of it. I am going to get ready for work and get myself up and going. I hope everybody enjoys your day. I hope you enjoyed what you did see of the Dollar Tree haul. I hope that you appreciated some of my sharing of who I am and I will see you guys in the next video. Everybody have a great day and see you soon.